so much like it's not everywhere a shoe that each golden brown look Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band here at Roots Radio, WMOT. That was Got a original 1962 Volkswagen sedan. Uh, it's a Sapphire One by Bendix. These are cool radios. Uh, they call them Tombstone because of the way the push buttons look. And we've done, uh, this radio is in excellent shape. We've done a clean up, a, a light polish on it. It didn't need a whole lot. Uh, just kind of wiped down the case, but we've done a full Aurora design conversion. Uh, it now has AM, FM, stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. It's got four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got a pre-out on it in case you want to add a sub. E-Town after that, and we finish off your night. Which is an RCA Tom over there. Hosted by Tom it has uh, and produced by WXPN in oh. Philadelphia at 10 o'clock. It's got Seek and Scan. It will Seek and Scan your stations for you. It's got Voice ID. Support for WMOT. USB. This is your USB port you'll be getting. It comes with a harness, or you can put it in a round hole. And a thumb drive with a video on it. And files. And uh, your USB, I'm getting the charge right now. My little uh, MP3 is about to die, so uh, I'm getting the charge so we can show that. Auxiliary in, getting a little charge off of it. This is your auxiliary in right above it. You get a mail to mail cable with it. So you can plug in, you plug in anything satellite, radio, uh, your phone, CD players, uh, whatever you'd like to plug into it, as long as it puts out music. It's also got Bluetooth. Hand-free phone calls, voice command is fully loaded. That reminds me, I need to get a little mic there because I don't like drilling holes in these radios in the front of this one anyhow. So we're going to plug a mic in. Now you got a mic. You can run that wherever you want to. It's got plenty of extension on it. While we're getting that charge there, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you if you hook up two speakers, you'll have balancing in your built in your toner. If you hook up three or more, you'll have balance and fader built in there. Uh, this is how it works. Right now, you're on wide open treble, wide open bass. All you do is go back to about the center of it, and we won't go into the balance mode, which is a 12 to 2 motion, 1, 2. She'll come on her and tell us we're in that mode. Once we get in that mode, as long as you're moving this toner control in that mode, you can you can fade from front to rear. We're going to do the fader first, and then after that, we're going to stop once we find what we like. We're going to let it beep. It'll go back to treble and bass toner. Then we're going to go counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. And we're gonna go into the uh, the balance mode. One, two. Fader adjust. There's your rear speakers. There's your front speakers. We're gonna balance it out where we want it, so we hear all of them. All right, right there. We're gonna let it beat. Now we're back on treble and bass. We're going to go back to that same position. We're going to go counterclockwise and go into the balance mode. Balance adjust. There's your right side. There's your left side. We're going to balance it out. As long as we're moving that, it will stay in that mode till we find what we like. All right, we're going to let it beat. Now we're back on treble and bass. That way you can set up all four speakers and uh, balance them out the way you want it so you can hear them all. That's pretty neat. Uh, if you want to go to AM radio, you just simply turn the unit off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Somebody's answered. Season. 
Off and right back on takes you right back to FM at your stereo LED. This light will change multiple colors depending on what you have the radio doing. There we go. Deb, We've got all the push I buttons and presets working. It, it may be. Like I said, the radio was in great shape. Let's do one here. There we go. All right, I think I got enough charge here. We're gonna take take a little uh, MP3 off the charge. We're gonna show you how that works. Uh, on any device that you have, all you do is uh, pull out your mail to mail cable, plug it into here, and then plug in your device. Let's let's go to music on here. Shuttle. All right, just plug in your device and then turn it on. Now whenever you decide to come off, you notice the little light's gone green, you won't go back to radio. All you do is just simply turn your device off. And then 20 seconds, the radio will automatically switch back over by itself. Uh, but we're going to let it do that, make sure everything's right. But if you want to, in it, during that time, if you want to go quicker to music, just turn it off and right back on like you cycle on my MFM. It remembers where you're at during that 20 seconds. We want to make sure it switched back over, which it did. That's how your auxiliary end works. Like I said, this radio will seek and scan for you, so we've got to take the tuning knob and go up twice. One, two. The little light gets to blinking right there. Now we're going to start scanning stations. Having then gives differently according to the grace that is given to I'll show you how to lock on a station. Uh, actually, how to even find this station and what station you're on on AM or FM. We're going to let it go a couple more stations. Back. This is great if you're going out of town. You don't want to mess up your presets where you got them in your local town. You can just put it in seek and scan and find your own station if you want. Say we like that station. Now we're gonna do is turn it once. I messed it up. Let's get it back scanning. Let's do it again. Mercy with cheerfulness. Let love. So we like that station there. We'll just turn it once. It'll start flashing quick. Now if we don't move it, it'll lock on it. But if we move it, it'll let us find it. There it is. Pull out a preset and you got it. Anytime you want to end the scan, just turn it the opposite direction down the scale. It'll quit scanning. Now we'd like to know what station that is. So we're going to take the volume knob and we're going to turn it up three times. Nine one dot seven. Nine one She'll tell you wherever it is, no matter where it is. That way, if you're searching for a specific station, you can actually go on there and find it. It will do this on AM and FM. And all this is in your manual. I know it's kind of confusing, but after a while, you get to work, and it'll be fine. Now you're. Uh, we're gonna log. We're gonna do the initial pair up on my phone. It will take up multiple devices. You'll do the pair up on your phone if you're the primary driver, and then you can do some other ones if they get in it. And you don't have your phone, it'll catch yours. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let her help us out. We're gonna hold this button down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Just go to Bluetooth on my phone. It showed up on my phone, so all I gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. 
Now we're connected up. So every time we get in this vehicle and got this phone with us, when I turn it on, she'll come on and say Bluetooth connected. You don't have to do it but once. And you notice your little push button is lit up. Now that's your mic there. We're going to do a voice command. We're going to go to music on my phone. We're going to hold this down. Play music. I'd open up music on my phone. Now, if we want to change our songs, there's multiple ways of doing it. So we can press the push button to advance twice to back up a repeat, or we can take the tone, the tuning knob, turn it up once, turn it back. You can bring your phone up by holding this down. Summon your phone up, tell it what to do, call home, look up addresses, whatever. If a phone call comes in, you'll hear it ring through your system. All you do is hit your button once, answer the call and talk, or you can actually take your tune knob and turn it up one click, answer your call and talk. When you're done, turn it down to click to end the call, twice here to end the call, or just let the phone hang up by itself. It'll go back to doing whatever you had it done. You can also do it with the volume knob. This works with all these knobs. Same thing. If I held this down, bring the phone up, I can tell it to go back, you know, stop music. I can actually push this off and it will go back to radio where we had it set. Uh, but we're going to use this. We're going to go up twice on the volume. Stop music. Okay, we put it in pause, we're going right back to radio. Back on radio. So you got multiple ways of working it. That's uh, how your Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls and all work. Uh, Pink and white. Happy birthday. Now we're going to do the USB, which I said will charge your phone. You're going to get one of these with some music on it and files and the video. And all you do is plug it in. A lot of people like to hide these. It'll go straight to it. I can work it that way or this same way with your phone. This way or this way. I like it because you, if you hide these in a Volkswagen, you got you. Mine's underneath my dash, so I can touch it, or I can use this too. Either way, it comes in handy because you're shifting gears, or you might have an automatic. I don't know. Now we're done. We brought our phone up by going up on this volume knob twice. If we want to go to pause, you got this head. You don't have to take this out unless you want to charge your phone. Hold this down one second. Put it in pause. Put this in pause. That light's gonna blink a couple times along with that, and we're gonna go right back to radio. It's gonna cycle back over. Right back to radio. Can love you with knowing every It's fine, good station. There we go. Now if I want to go back to this, I don't have to pull the stick out or anything, it's already in there. If I'm going down the road and wanna go back to it, all I gotta do is hold this down one second, go right back to it. Depends on how long you're down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. Also, with the volume knob, you can do the same thing. We went up for Bluetooth to bring our phone. Let's go down, put it in pause, go right back to radio. So you got multiple ways of working it. It'll take you a little while to get used to it, but it, it it's pretty neat. Take your volume knob, go down twice, go right back to thumb drive. Right back to radio. That's your original 1962 Volkswagen sedan. Uh, this is a Sapphire One, uh, what they call Tombstone Radio. They're neat, and I like doing them. This one is fully loaded. It's a full roar design conversion. It's got everything in it you can get. Preset, 
uh, seek and scan the whole nine yards. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.